Mark Stein is a best-selling author, one of the smartest men we know, joining us now with the reaction to this. So, Mark, you've spent your entire life as a journalist mocking pe people, people you disagree with politically. Here you have Doug Mackey, who I'd never heard of before right. today. No. He is a journalist. He mocks people. He's going to jail for it. How do you feel about that? Uh, well, disgusted. I mean, it's extraordinary to me that the FBI, which are the guys who interfered in the 2016 election, uh, now uh, 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 terrorizing some guy who posted a picture of Taylor Swift wearing a MAGA hat that he'd photoshopped onto her head. So, in other words, all the dirty, rotten, stinking, corrupt officials at the Department of Justice and at the FBI, both of which I think are actually irredeemable now and should probably be disbanded and rebuilt from scratch, the guys who actually interfered in the 2016 election and got their buddies in MI6 and ASIO in Australia to assist them setting up Papadopoulos and the rest of the crowd, uh, they've now found some little fella to, to make an example of and they're going to stick him in jail for 10 years. And the FBI agent, uh, our pal Sean Hannity, is always going on about all the good people in the FBI. I'm sorry, Sean, but the FBI agent who investigated this guy uh, for, for a non-crime should be ashamed of herself exactly. uh, and actually shouldn't have taken that gig. I totally agree. Now, they're telling us about this threat of domestic extremism. And I I'm trying to be as honest and as clear thinking as I can be. I'm starting to agree with them. I think a crackdown like this will create extremism. I think they know that, and if they don't know it, they're deeply unwise. But arresting people for memes, banning yeah. whole social media sites, this cra a crackdown like this cannot help but create domestic extremism. Do they not see that? Well, they think they can handle that. If you recall George Orwell in 1984, they invented a forever war going on on the far fringes of the map. In this case, they're actually being more ambitious. They're invent I've lived in countries with domestic terrorism movements. That's not what's going on here. Here we've got theater. Uh, I don't know why you need real troops to do what these guys are doing in Washington. Everyone on Broadway is currently uh, unemployed at the moment. So you could right. easily get, you know, the chorus from Hello, Dolly to dress up as soldiers and do what they're doing here. They're inventing a domestic insurgency that does not exist. So I got it. My producers are watching other channels as our show mm. happens because there's just so much going on now. Mm. Apparently, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, Sandy Cortez, is on another channel right now saying, and I think I'm quoting, there are white nationalists, white supremacists at the sympathizers at the heart of the GOP caucus in Washington among elected officials, right. and that Kevin yeah. McCarthy takes his marching orders from QAnon, whatever that is. Right. Well, where's this going? Right. I mean, this is a sitting member of Congress accusing other members of Congress of being terrorists? What's, yeah. what's the plan Basically, here? Basically, they're reverse engineering the Republican Party to make the guy in the Viking hat uh, the guy controlling it all. You know, he could be an Afghan goat herd, Pushtun goat herd, could be a Taliban guy who's secretly taken over the Republican Party. We are in a blizzard of lies, uh, the audacity and absurdity of which is unprecedented. This is starting to worry me. Mark Stein, great mm. to see you. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Tucker.